filming a makeup tutorial voiceover of this look right here and it this is a makeup look that I use uh, most of the time it's literally my go-to one like I do and this makeup look was mostly using um, the naked on the run palette it's this gorgeous um, rose gold palette with like um, a print and um, and inside it has the perversion mascara the Stag eyeliner, which is like a purpley black eyeliner, and the lip gloss is the color S C S O S E S S E S S O. The lip gloss is actually just a lip gloss, like it's not like a liquid lipstick. And five shadows, a bronzer, a highlight, and blush. But I really don't use the blush. Foundation I'm using today is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. I'm in the color sand and the good thing about this foundation is that it's oil free and for my specific skin type I am oily skin but I have dry patches. It works wonders but if you are dry skin you won't really like this foundation just because it's oil free and it's not as moisturizing. Am I the only one that likes to watch people put foundation on? I think it's just so beautiful. That's me with foundation. And now I'm using the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I'm in the shade NC42. And I'm just adding this to the back of my hand and afterward, putting it on the blemishes in my face. I have a lot of acne scarring going on. And then I just blend it with the Real Technique sponge. And then I'm using this NYX Dark Circle Concealer and it's actually an orange based concealer. I use it for my dark circles and as I'm putting it on you can see that it makes a big difference. If you have dark circles that's dark as mine, you should really try this concealer or any orange based concealer. And I'm just adding sloppy triangles on the bottom of my eyes near my dark circles. Just to you know have a more flawless look and I'm just blending it out with the sponge and uh, blending it into my temples and this is my quote-unquote flawless face something I enjoy doing is adding rose salt lip salt on my lips when I'm done with my uh, foundation and all that just to get ready for lipstick later on it's good for the Chicago weather I always give them to my friends to set my foundation I'm using the NYX lavender powder and the reason I use the lavender powder is because I have a yellowish skin tone and I'm just brushing this powder all over my face to cancel out that yellowness and you know just set the makeup so I'm just starting to do my eyebrows right now the first thing I do is brush the hairs on my eyebrow and then I draw a line on the bottom of my eyebrow and afterward you can see that I draw a line on the top of my eyebrow and I just follow through with my natural shape um, afterward I just fill in the blanks and when I get closer to um, the beginning of my eyebrow I do like a round eyebrow I don't do like a square one and I, I don't know how to really um, do the gradient look yet so yeah this is just how I really like to do my eyebrows I don't like any dramatic um, things on it and I'm just showing you the difference between one eyebrow and the other. And this is the thing I dread the most, doing my eyebrows. It takes me 10 straight minutes. How long do you guys take? I know some girls take half an hour just doing their eyebrows. These are my finished brows. And I forgot to mention that I use Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz and Dark Brown. For the eye primer, I use the Smashbox 24 hour photo finish primer and this eye primer is actually really moisturizing for the eyelids and here I'm taking the dark eyeshadow in the palette and I'm just applying it with my fingers all over my lids as a base color and I'm just going in with this eyeshadow called dive it's actually a rose gold shadow and I'm putting it all over my eyelids just because I like to use this color every day and if you love rose gold as much as me you'll love this eyeshadow it has quite a bit of fallout but that's just only because it's pigmented and um, any pigmented shadow would have fallout and I'm taking the 50 50 highlight shadow um, or highlight shade um, in the palette and I'm adding it to the center of my eyes just you know so I could look alive 
<laughs> and here I'm grabbing the eyeshadow that's called Stun, and I'm actually uh, putting it on my crease, but I'm pulling it higher than most people. That's just because I have hooded eyes, and if I don't put it higher, you can't see my eyeshadow at all when my eyes are open. And that's just a trick for us girls with hooded eyes. And here I'm grabbing this Urban Decay brush. I don't know the name. Um, and I'm grabbing 50-50 again and adding this color right on my brow bone just to define my eyebrows a little bit and make my eyeshadow stand out. And now I'm grabbing the rose gold shade and just adding more. This is my Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Eyeliner in black and it's a pointy felt tip so as you can see here i start from the middle and work my way way out from there and i draw a thin line but that's only because i have hooded eyes if i were to draw a thick line you wouldn't really get to see it but that's only because when i open my eyes my eyes really hood as you can see right there and after i start from the middle and work my way out i draw the mini wing i don't really like a dramatic wing I stay simple. <laughs> and here I'm just showing you the difference between one eye and the other. So here I'm just doing the other eye and actually this is much quicker than doing my eyebrows. <laughs> I'm just curling my lashes through like a weirdo. <laughs> this mascara is the Bare Minerals Lash Domination Mascara in Intense Black and this is honestly the only mascara that works with my eyelashes. My eyelashes actually go straight down and they're just average size. But this is the only mascara that keeps my curl, so if you have the same problem, you should try this mascara. And now I am using the Rimmel London Wonder Lash Waterproof Mascara in black for my bottom lashes. And here I'm just grabbing this bronzer in the palette, and I'm just adding it to the apple of my cheeks. I'm not really focusing on contouring today, that's only because it's everyday makeup. And as you can see, I pull it up into the temple of my cheeks, but that's only for my face to look even. And after that, I grab this bronzer and run it through my jawline just to make my face look thinner and up my hairline. As you can see, this trick really does make a difference. You can see my face is more defined. And now I'm just doing it to the other side of my face really quickly. <laughs> Here's my finished bronzer. And here I'm just grabbing that 50-50 highlight shadow with this brush and I'm just highlighting my face. Uh, the reason I don't show is because I did it off camera and I didn't realize it. And I, on my nose too. And then I'm grabbing Kat Von D Original Lolita Liquid Lipstick and just putting it on my lips. I really do struggle like using liquid lipstick. And the last step is grabbing the Laurel Mercier Lip Glisse and their baby and um, just adding this to make a more natural look. And here's my finished look guys, thank you!